all you um, uh, teeny boppers out there, all you millennials who believe that you are above COVID-19, you would be wrong. So um, uh, London, Ontario team, 19 years old, working in a long-term care facility, uh, passed away. So RIP to him. You know what I mean? But yeah, he passed away uh, from from COVID-19. Um, apparently, he's not the first in Ontario. There was a 10-year-old ten year, uh, that also caught the virus and passed away, but they're still investigating that to see if it was directly linked to COVID-19. She had some some pre-existing conditions. Um, and uh, to, to, to that point, they're also not indicating whether or not uh, this young man had pre-existing conditions as well. I think they're playing that a little close to the chest, but eventually that information will come out. Whenever it's like a, a really young person, they, they kind of push that really hard, you know? And um, I think it's a good thing only because people do believe that if you're that young and you contract the virus, you, you'll be okay. But this is a big deal now because this supports everybody's uh, fear that was already in them with COVID that, you know, look, there's a young, you said young people can't die. There you go. There's your example of a young person that died. It's funny how accurate your statement was that when people are looking for something, they will find it. That's how right. I feel about this. Yeah. This is a, this is a one-off. Once again, I have to keep bringing up how long we've had COVID in our lives for right because a lot of things are just happening right now and we've we're almost a year in you know so when something like that happens and it's, it's this far in i'm just like i them, i have the same opinion that everybody else wants to have about that it's a one-off right, uh, right. It, like it to me it still doesn't kill young people something else was in this kid the you know the numbers would indicate that that there is well obviously it doesn't happen often um, before we close this uh, segment, though, I, I do want to make a retraction on something because well, we speak about the fatalities of coronavirus. And um, there's a lot of elderly people, something with the elderly, a lot of elderly people in Europe actually have taken the vaccine and died. Yeah, um, yeah. So Remember but, I told you about the, the, the Australian the, early on about yeah. Australia. Yeah, so it has, I don't know if they're built for it or, or I don't know what it is, you know what I mean? But um, RIP to that uh, little kid's family, you know what I mean? That that child's family, he's still 19, he had a whole life ahead of him. Who knew who knew what he would have brought to the world, you know what I right, mean? Right, so right. RIP to that kid's family, condolences to his friend's family, everybody that he knew. That's it's uh, When a 19-year-old goes, it's sad, COVID or not, you know what I mean? So um, comments, people... Uh, Send your condolences, but when I say comment, I'm I'm asking you to comment about do you think they are pushing this to instill fear in, well, I guess people in that age range, you know what I mean? Also, did you know that people in the upper age range were actually dying from the vaccine? Google it. It's a real thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Deuces. All right, you guys, we put out new videos every single morning at 10 a.m., Yes, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out these videos right here and subscribe right down here. We're trying to get to at least 100 followers. Thank We're you. not far, man. <laughs> subscribe.